Welcome to Linglestown TV News for March 3rd, 2011. I'm your host, Bill Bostic, aka B Squared, and this is our first news broadcast trying something new because I've been having some problems finding time to um, you know get to the computer, type things out, put all the links in, and all that kind of thing. So I decided to put together a little studio here at the newsroom, you know, complete with a little bit of a backdrop here. Um, an artist rendition of what Linglestown uh, will look like here in a few months. I have my friend Frosty, and I'll put a link below this uh, newscast so you know what Frosty's all about. I made a video with Frosty a few years ago. I have my uh, pile of stuff, so let's get right into it. The big news this week, of course, has been an opening of a new restaurant at the former Chocolate Cafe, La Piazza of Linglestown. And again, you can find more information about that on Linglestown Gazette. Also, some breaking news. Uh, if you scroll down Linglestown Gazette here in, uh, I guess it would be a February entry, there was a um, picture of a light post, one of the new light standards through the village that was knocked down. And I was wondering what happened to that. Uh, one, of the, one of the readers um, posted a comment saying that a driver lost control in one of the uh, winter storms, spun around, not only knocked out the uh, light standard right to the ground, but also took out a uh, fire hydrant. And so that's the mystery behind uh, that damage to some of the new uh, infrastructure here in Linglestown. Also, last bit of uh, news before we get into some community news, um, Jeff and Pam Smith, owners of uh, uh, St. Thomas Roasters, one of my favorite spots in Linglestown, are in this month's Central PA Magazine, put out by WITF, FM, and TV, Channel 33 TV, right here they are. I don't have a camera person, so I really can't zoom in on it, but if you get this month's uh, Central PA Magazine, they were one of the winners of the uh, Central PA uh, Reader's Choice Awards for 2011. So congratulations to to Pam and Jeff and also I'd like to give a shout out to Matt, the regional manager, for doing such a great job there. Now let's move into about my stack here of uh, uh, community events. Go through that very quickly. This Saturday, March 5th, will be a benefit breakfast at the New Love in Christ Church on Jonestown Road located right behind Carnes Food. They'll have um, Let's see here, omelets, uh, fresh made donuts, uh, cream dried beef, and, and much, much more. Again, a benefit dinner or at breakfast at uh, New Love in Christ Church. Uh, then on Sunday at um, St. Thomas United, United Church of Christ, there's going to be, that's on Linglestown Road, there's going to be a chili cook off. And St. Thomas United Church of Christ is, is uh, east of the village. Uh, on East Parkway. It's right on Linglestown Road, just east of the village. And that's going to run from 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock this Sunday, March 6th. Also on Sunday at Linglestown Fire Company, there's Basket Bingo. I believe it's being put on by the Women's Auxiliary of the uh, Fire Company. Um, there's an early bird game I think I saw here. Early, doors open at 11. Early bird bingo game will start at 12.30 and the event will start at 1 o'clock. Um, $25 in advance to get your ticket, $30 at the door, and if you want more information, I'll give one of the contact persons, Melissa, at 903-5961. Get to ask for Melissa at 903-5961. And it's show business this weekend at uh, some of the schools, a couple of schools. Central Dolphin High School will be presenting Thoroughly Modern Millie shows on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. More information on Linglestown Gazette. Also on Linglestown Gazette, find information about the show put on by Harrisburg Christian School, located off Blue Mountain Parkway. They're going to be presenting the musical Annie on, let's see, Friday and Saturday. You'll be able to see that. They're actually having a show today, but too late for that. And next Wednesday, March 9th, Linglestown Garden Club will hear about egg coloring with natural dyes. That'll be at the Linglestown Fire Company, or Firehouse, the brick building from 10 a.m. is when it will start in the social hall. Don't want to miss that. And also another event at uh, St. Thomas United Church of Christ, 
And that's going to be a chicken, corn, and ham beans soup sale next, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, March 12th. And that's going to run from, let's see, 9 o'clock until noon, and the cost is $5 per quart for the soups they're going to be selling. Moving into some uh, Central Dauphin School District news, the CD Alumni Association will be awarding two $1,000 scholarships to Central Dauphin graduates. And you can check with the guidance office at Central Dolphin High School about this if you're a senior this year and looking for some money for school. Um, lastly, I want to congratulate the Central Dolphin Rams boys basketball team for qualifying for the state championships. For the first time since 2006, they defeated uh, Lebanon uh, this past Tuesday by a score of 64-50. to 50. Um, to to get into the state tournament. So good luck to the Rams as they enter the state competition. Now the next time we get together, probably sometime next week, I found a, uh, I want to let you know about a paradise I found here in, Ling in not Linglestown, but actually Lower Paxton Township, not far from Linglestown, a paradise that is going to go under a significant change. So I'll reveal what that is and give you the, give you the story behind that story next time together. So thanks for stopping by. Tell your friends, email this out. We'll get the news out to you as quickly as possible. And I want to let you know that you, with a little bit of me, we're changing Lower Paxton Township and Linglestown, whether they like it or not.